Aisha here. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect. Huge shout out to my day ones, my foundation subscribers, all of my new subscribers, thank you. And if you're checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you, or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, subscribe. Okay, Pisces, this is a general energy check. It's not going to resonate with all of you. Take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Please check your sun or moon rising as well. That may help you to connect the dots or your sign in Venus. If this is not your reading, that's okay. Click the notification button. I'm sure Spirit will have something for you at another point in time. Or feel free to book me for a personal reading. All that information and more is located in my description box. Thank you all for your good karma donations. They are appreciated. Thank you all for keeping my ass busy with these personal readings. Thank you all for your support. Um, for part, your participation in the contest, the contest winners have been uh, posted on Instagram and in the YouTube community board as well. So I uh, thank you all so much. I appreciate you. Okay, Pisces, cards have already been shuffled and drawn. Let's see what we have here. So we have the world in reverse. This is how you're feeling. Okay, so it looks like you you used your intuition. You're really using your intuition right now. Pisces, woo! I just did the Scorpio reading. And it's like water signs. It's like you've been um, heightened. Your intuition has been heightened at this time, this point in time in life, <laughs> in your journey. Uh, it is like your North Star. It's your inner compass. It's your map. Like you don't move unless your intuition says, okay, you go in that direction or no, 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 pull back. You need to fall back off of that. Wow. It's really, really powerful. It's really good. Really good. So you are using your intuition about something that did not move forward. There wasn't a new beginning with someone. Oh, okay. This is what it is. So Pisces, it looks like you're feeling like. Your intuition told you not to move forward with someone anymore, uh, that you weren't going to have a new beginning and not to give to something that wasn't fulfilling for you, something that didn't bring you any type of satisfaction. And I mean, when I say satisfaction, I mean, you know, it starts to start from the inner. It doesn't matter if the sex is good or something with this person. If you did not leave feeling good within yourself or feeling fulfilled, you don't want anything to do with anybody like that anymore. So you're feeling like you're not going to be moving forward with someone. You're not going to be giving to a situation with someone anymore. And it's, I feel like it's kind of like karma for them because they were like this with you. Mm -hmm. They weren't, whatever kind of emotional baggage they were holding on, this could have been from a previous relationship or things that happened between you two in the relationship that they had not let go, let go of. So because of that, they weren't giving to you and they weren't showing up in the relationship the way how they were. And they were they were causing a lot of friction. I'm feeling um I'm hearing friction. There was some kind of uh disconnect or detach detachment, detachment. Disconnect or detachment. Uh that caused some kind of um emotional unfulfillment. Yeah. Someone was you weren't satisfied with someone and someone was not satisfied. I just feel like they weren't satisfied with themselves, Pisces. And they took that out on you. I feel like you may have known this or your intuition was telling you this. You picked up on this though, Pisces, that someone is not happy with themselves. It doesn't have anything to do with you. And that's why they weren't trying to really move forward in the relationship. You may realize that this person is not really moving forward in life, period. This is the world in reverse. Mm -hmm. So something was not moving forward with someone as an individual and um, as a couple. You could have gotten some enlightenment from spirit about why things weren't moving forward. And that's why you're just like, okay, you know, I don't want, I don't want this anymore for myself. And this isn't even something that you've thought about, uh, Pisces. This is something that you just know. You know that you know that you know that there, there's no chance of having any new beginning with this person of you giving to anything, uh, giving to this person or giving anything of the sort when it comes to a relationship with this person this is just not gonna happen no because this person did not bring i feel like you may not even be passionate about this person anymore not like you used to be 
but there is a deep dissatisfaction with this person so you're just like no i don't i don't want to be within a relationship with you because i know that i wouldn't be happy mm -hmm. someone broke your heart pisces yeah they did they broke your heart they disappointed you mm-hmm uh, this person didn't think they weren't well you were thinking future forward this person was on some bullshit mm -hmm. so you're thinking okay I wanna someone in this collective you are you're you're very um I, I want to say Empress Emperor energy you're a boss you plan out your life you figure out how you're gonna make moves to do certain things and you get it done okay However, it gets done. You listen to your intuition as well. So while you are planning for the future, um, building a legacy for you and this person, or building a solid foundation, this person wasn't trying to move ahead. This, someone was stuck in their feelings about something that happened. They hadn't forgiven you for something. And because of that, they weren't very giving to you. Mm -hmm. And they caused a lot of dis dissatisfaction. But this person was, they're not happy within themselves, Pisces. And you know this. That's why you're like, I'm not fucking getting back with you or getting in no type of relationship with you so that you can drag me down in life and you can have me up forever. You told me that you forgave me and we're moving forward with something, but really, you still have issues with me. You're still holding animosity and malice towards me. You still treat me like someone that you don't even really check for. So what am I going to be in a relationship with you? Pisces, you listen to your intuition and you just let something go. You did. It's not what you wanted anymore. Mm-hmm. Now, you may have been feeling like, um, I just heard butt hurt. Someone was butt hurt because something didn't go as planned or it wasn't something that started, something that was started was not finished. Mm -hmm. And this disappointed you. You could have been in this dynamic with this person where you break up and get back together. And you may have thought that the last time you guys got back together, that was going to be it. Things were going to be better. This person has changed. The relationship's going to change. But it wasn't. It was the same shit. And that's because it's the world in reverse. You were in a karmic cycle with someone. It's so funny. I just did the Scorpio reading and they were in a karmic cycle with somebody. So maybe you could have been dealing with a Scorpio, you know, or another water sign. Someone could have been dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or you have a fire sign coming towards you, but we're going to get into that one. Uh, okay, so you may have realized that um, it wasn't you may have. You did realize. Your intuition let you know and let you peep game that you were in a karmic cycle with someone and it was time to let it go. Mm -hmm. You were in a karmic cycle with someone. Now, this could have been like past life experiences where... There was something done because there, there's something that needed to be rebalanced when it comes to your emotions and when it comes to giving. Something was not balanced from a past life. It was brought over into this life. And that's why with this person, things were not fucking moving. No, they weren't. And if it was moving, it was moving backwards. So it's like, I thought we, I thought we healed from this and we got over this. Why are you bringing this up again? Or why are we going through the same thing again? Pisces, your intuition was like, fuck this, man. I'd be done with this now. I'm done with this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now you have here the hangman. Coming towards you, Pisces, the hanged man. Okay. Now you're in this energy. If you're not in this energy already, you are coming into this energy in the very near future. I feel like a lot of you, you may be at the cusp. You're just starting to feel like this. You've done your contemplating. You've done your thinking about things. You've done your um, introspection. Uh, you have taken some time to yourself. You are in a, a transition from an old chapter that is done and over and closed into a new chapter. You're in a, in a brand new beginning. Uh huh. That's what you've started. This is a rebirth. Uh huh. This is a rebirth of everything that you did not have in the past with someone into having that now with yourself, and that's going to bring someone else in. Because look at this. Uh, Pisces, you have someone coming towards you. You may be talking to someone already. Uh, this could be online dating. Mm -hmm. I just heard Facebook dating. Um, Tinder. But someone could have been on some um, 
dating profile you may have met someone i feel like you're starting to like somebody pisces those first stirrings of hey you're not that bad i i think i like you mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a nice feeling it's just like when you just meet someone you're getting to know them you realize you may have some things in common or you like the way they move somebody you've been talking to someone pisces and your intuition is telling you that you know what uh, they're not that bad they're this is pretty good you can do this you're taking your i'm hearing slow and steady though you're taking your time but you met someone that you feel like you can have abundance with and if you haven't met this person there is someone that's coming into your life it could be a fire sign aries leo sagittarius or water sign pisces cancer scorpio another water sign a lot of water a lot of water a lot of fire and then you have two major arcanas here look at this you have abundance this is such a good spread pisces you have abundance and you have the sage this is like my communication card but pisces wait a minute but we it <laughs> pisces you're me you're gonna meet someone if you haven't met someone already you could be just talking to someone online or over the phone exchanging text messages but this has the potential to go somewhere pisces look at this you have abundance this is someone who makes you feel it's like they match your abundance inside so you feeling stable and secure inside this is the type of energy that this person brings right back they mirror that right back to you you're stable um, by yourself. You're stable in life. And this is the type of energy that this person is matching. This is, you've met someone who's stable just like you. Someone who's abundant just like you. Someone you can talk to. Someone, this person may be intuitive as well. Mm -hmm. But this is also a new birth with you as well. Oh, this is so beautiful, Pisces. Look at this. So you've leveled up now. And everything that you did not get from the relationship in the past with someone, a cycle that's closed out, okay? Let me remind you, that is done with someone. You learn how to give that to yourself. This is your rebirth. So you now make sure that you are kind to yourself first. You give to others in equal measure. So it's like, if you're not pouring into my cups, guess what, bitch? I'm not pouring into yours either. Fair is fair. And there ain't nothing wrong with that. You've learned how to let go and let God, okay? Trust the processes of the universe. You also learned uh, how to uh, move forward confidently, be more excited about your life. Uh, I feel like you've found uh, something that you like to do or you found your niche or you're, you're in your zone. I'm hearing uh, Kanye West, you are now watching the throne. Don't let me enter my zone. Don't let me enter my zone, zone, zone. Pisces, whoo, there's something that you're doing that you love, that brings you, makes you feel alive inside, and it is bringing in bank. You know what I'm hearing now? Big bank, big bank take little bank. Whoo, Pisces, I am getting goosebumps up in this bitch right now. Spirit is here. Pisces, whatever it is that you're doing, this love, it is attracting abundance. People can see that you love what you do. People can feel that you love what you do. Mm -hmm. Your energy is very contagious right now. You may, having, may have people that want to uh, talk to you. People want to get to know you. I'm hearing LinkedIn. You may uh, be networking a lot with people, but people want to partner with you because they see that you are abundant. Mm -hmm. They can feel abundance. Uh, someone, Pisces, someone's watching you because they know your ass is going to be rich. <laughs> they know your ass is going to be rich and they want to be, they're here for it. This is not someone who's deceptive or they're trying to use you. This is someone who's on the same tip that you're on. They're on the same path that you're on and they're like, oh, you're about your bag and being happy and listening to the most high and following your true path. I'm on that too. Why don't we do it together? Why don't we build something together, right? We're both on the same path. We're both learning the same lessons. So why not? Let's just, let's partner up. See what's up. What happens? They're here for it. Somebody is here. Pisces, you're going to be meeting someone that you can talk to. Someone that you can build with. Someone you can have true abundance with. Mm -hmm. Someone that makes you feel loved. It's, it's not even like you don't need this person to feel love. You already love yourself. It's like they mirror back the love that you have for yourself, which is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. This person may look good too. But they think you're gorgeous or you're very handsome. They enjoy talking to you. This is also someone who's very intuitive. Uh, 
Pisces, you met you may have met another water sign because this person they listen to their intuition. If their intuition gives them a bad vibe about someone, they'll just cut them off. But with you, they are intrigued. Someone really likes you, Pisces. Yes. I'm hearing, I think I like you. I think I like you. Wow. Okay. Someone wants to give to you as well, Pisces. Um, they, they see that you're someone who is fair and you're kind and they like that. They love that about you. They see that you are stable and you are abundant all by yourself. Uh huh. They kind of look at you like, how are you doing this? <laughs> how are you doing? How, how is it that you can manage all these things? How is it that you are so fruitful? And they love it. Mm -hmm. Someone is being divinely guided towards you, Pisces. Yes, they are. And they are listening. Now, this is someone who is, um, they could be transitioning in life. This is a transition for both of you. Pisces, I feel like you're, you've are you met your match or you're meeting your match. Mm -hmm. Yes, you have. But there is a change happening. There is a change on the horizon. Mm -hmm. And the things in the past that didn't work out, they're going to be working now. Absolutely. The relationship that you had in the past that was not providing you with nothing. Okay? It wasn't providing you with anything that you actually needed in life. You're going to find that with this person, whoever is coming towards you, whoever you're talking to right now. Mm -hmm. Someone is attracted to your confidence. Um, they look at you like you are, you're a leader, Pisces. Mm -hmm. You're a mover and you're a shaker. You get shit done. Uh, you understand that teamwork makes the dream work. Someone wants to work with you. They want a partnership with you, though, in every sense of the word. Mm -hmm. And someone really enjoys talking to you. Mm -hmm. It's very endearing. It's very sweet. <laughs> I'm going to pull some more cards. Uh, okay, Spirit, what does this person... What does this person want with Pisces? What are their intentions with Pisces? Oh, I'm, I'm being told to pull a different deck. Okay, Spirit, what, what is this person's intentions towards spicy? Spices. <laughs> uh -huh, Pisces, are you, are you really spicy with this person? Do you view this person as spicy? Maybe they view you as spicy, you know? Uh huh. Someone in this collective, you are of um, Caribbean descent or something, and they look at you like you kind of. I just heard turn up queen. <laughs> You're the turn up queen. That like, you like to have fun, and they like that. Or this person is like that. They like to have fun. Uh huh. They could be a Leo. Yes. But I feel like you both like these things about each other. Mm hmm. Because uh, you know what I'm seeing here. Someone may be really calm and cool and relaxed, and someone likes to have fun, but it's a nice balance, right? Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. Is there any more messages for Pisces in regards to this uh, this new person that's coming into their life, that's coming towards them? This person has been thinking, though, like if they should move towards you or not. They really want to. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you have nine of coins in reverse. This person is being... Um, let me pull some clarifying cards for this. Oh, okay, Pisces. So this person that is coming towards you, something may have happened to them. And um, they could have gotten out of a bad relationship that affected their finances. This person could have been married before. And it affected their finances now. you got to split everything down the middle. So now this person may be get just getting themselves together or may not be feeling as stable as they would like to. Spirit, please clarify nine of coins in reverse. So this flew out. This is three of earth. Yes, this person right now, they are investing in themselves. They're investing in making sure that they are as stable and secure as possible. This is, this is one of the things that they like about you, that you are stable and secure. Because this is what they're working on. Remember, life attracts life. Mm -hmm. This is not someone who um, went through a bad relationship, lost all their money, and they're just sitting on their ass like, oh, what was me? I'm a victim. This is someone who's like, okay, it happened. I didn't like the way things happened. I'm going to change it now. I, got, I need to get off my ass, and I need to get to work. I need to make some things happen. This person is investing in... Um, Wow, look at this. You have six of earth here. This is two. This is this is about money. This person's about money, getting their life together. This is also someone who they want to be a good example. They were striving to be the best versions of themselves. 
Yes, they are. If uh, this person has children, it's important for them to be a good example to their children. If you have children, it is important for this person to be a good example to your children. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Wow. You have 11 of air in reverse. This person is 100%. Um, they see things clearly, like there's no delusion. They know that they need to continue to work on their stability and their security if they want to be with you. They know that. And that's exactly what they're doing. You could be with someone or be talking to someone who works all the time. And it's not because they're hiding or they're distracting yourself or anything like that. Or they're, they could be a workaholic right now, but it's because they are restoring their stability and security. Mm -hmm. Somebody's money is not where they want it to be, and they're come hell or high water, okay? By the hook or the crook, they're going to get their shit in order, and that's what they're doing. This person wants to come towards you, but they recognize that you've grown, and they can't come to you with nothing. They can't come to your table empty-handed. This is not even that type of person. They're not like that. They're going to make sure they have their shit in order. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, yeah, so... In the past, this person could have been in a relationship with someone who wasn't very kind to them. I, I feel like this person may be cautious with you because they're thinking about moving towards you, Pisces. This person is very, very attracted to you as well. But they are using their intuition because in the past, they didn't use their intuition with somebody. Uh -huh. I feel like in the past, they weren't seeing something, uh, the truth of a situation for what it was with someone. And that's could, why they ended up not being as stable, as, as secure as they wanted to be. That's why they are where they are now. Mm -hmm. So this person took an L in a previous relationship with someone that was selfish, someone that was inconsiderate, someone that wasn't very nice. This person, if they had children with this person, they didn't really show up as a good parent. That's why it's so important for them to show up as a good parent. They've always had to be uh, the responsible one in the relationship. They were with someone who was not very giving. And wasn't really trying to invest in the relationship. This was someone who was like, what do you, what can you do for me? What can I get? What are you giving me? Mm -hmm. So this person is still, I feel like they may be still healing from this. Or they have healed from this and now they're in that, um, that transitional period. It's like you break up, you take some time to yourself. You shake off yourself, you heal, and then you, you move into the next chapter of your life. And that's what it seems like is going on with this person. And they seem to have met you. <laughs> Spirit guided them towards you because, Pisces, you're doing the same thing. You're doing the same thing. You're focusing on your stability and your security. You're focusing on giving to yourself. You're focusing on being abundant in all areas of your life. Okay? Family, friends, lover, uh, significant other... Your business is like you want abundance in all areas of your life and you want to feel abundant from the inside out. You want to feel satisfied. You want to feel happy. You want to feel light. Okay. Mm -hmm. You don't want to feel heavy and burdened and stuff anymore. And this is what this person is working on. This person, they don't want to miss an opportunity with you, but they are taking their time. Uh, you know, what I love about this um, energy already is that they recognize the fact that you've grown, okay? And they cannot come to you with any type of bullshit, and they wouldn't want to do that anyway. This person has good energy, okay? They're just healing from something that happened in the past with somebody, and they're getting their life together. Like I said, someone, you're talking to someone who they work all the time, Okay? They're not avoiding life. <laughs> They're not trying to distract themselves. Maybe a little bit. It's distraction because they are healing. But for the most part, they're just trying to recuperate what they've lost. They're trying to restore balance and stability back into their life. And they want to be with you. So they want to show up like, okay, I came to the table with my tools. I came to the garden with my stuff to plant too. I came with my bag of seeds too. I'm not just here sitting around waiting for you to do everything. This person's not even like that. This is someone who's a mover and shaker just like you. They like to work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, like, they don't have a problem investing in things. Investing in things that are worthwhile. Not at all. Oh, okay, Pisces, this is what I have for you. I'm going to pull one last card of guidance and advice from Spirit. Thank you, Spirit, for your clear and concise messages. Woo! Mm -hmm. 
This one just fell out, okay? Other people want to help. Someone you know wants to help you succeed. Pisces, this is what I got this person. They want to get their self together so they can actually have a true partnership with you. This is not someone who's coming to sit on their ass so that you do everything, okay? Expecting you to come up with money to pay bills and take care of them, maintain relationship and provide emotional support. No, no, no. This is someone who's, uh, they want to match you. Someone you know wants to help you succeed, okay? Have the courage to ask for help or support today, Pisces. Uh, have you not been asking for help? Graciously receive help without guilt or shame. You don't have to do everything by yourself, Pisces. You're not supposed to. So when Spirit sends people towards you to help, this is how the universe helps you, by sending other energies towards you. You got to accept it's the law of giving, I'm sorry, allowing. Allow, law of allowing. You got to let the universe help you, giving and receiving. Receiving is a part of giving. It's the same thing. So Spirit wants you to know that it's okay to accept help from people. You don't have to feel bad. You don't have to feel like you owe anybody anything. You don't. It's okay to receive help from people, okay? Meditation, sorry, meditate on who to ask for help if you're unsure. You're listening to your intuition, Pisces, which is beautiful, so continue to do that. Your higher self will lead you to the right people and steer you away from the wrong people. Use your skills, knowledge, or connections to help someone in need today. Um, it, this is about karma. Spirit is setting you up to have an influx of good karma. So keep doing good things so that good things happen to you. I feel like you're being set up for success right now, Pisces. And Spirit just wants you to stay on that path and allow other people to help you. Mm -hmm. You're not here to do it by yourself. You're not supposed to. Spirit, do you have any more messages for the Piscean Collective? Mm -hmm. The food you eat. Pisces. Hmm. Adopt an 80-20 moderation rule with food to avoid deprivation. Are some of you not eating enough? Mm -hmm. Or you're not eating enough of the right things? Spirit's like, cut it out. It's Pisces. You're supposed to be around for a long time. So get yourself together. Make sure you're taking care of yourself. You can't do anything if your body's not healthy. Okay? Health is wealth. Seek a professional to help you heal an eating disorder. Does someone in this collective have an eating disorder? Someone's not eating enough or they're overeating or they're not eating enough of the right things. I feel like someone needs to see a nutritionist. Mm -hmm. uh, spirits advising someone to start a food diary to identify potential food allergies for gut healing. Someone in this collective, you feel bloated all the time and it's like it doesn't matter what you eat or what you don't eat, you feel bloated. There is, um, I'm hearing probiotics, probiotics. You need to take probiotics. I am not a doctor, okay? So if you want to get a second opinion on that or do your own research, I suggest you do that, okay? Uh, Spirit wants some of you to use cooking as a creative healing and meditative outlet, okay? So have fun with learning how to um, create new meals that are actually healthy for yourself and inspire and teach others to eat healthy. Uh, someone in this collective, you are going to start... Um, a, a cooking YouTube channel, and it's going to be very successful. Okay? Very successful. And the beauty of it is it comes from something that you love to do, something that you are passionate about, something that is helping you. Okay? Oh, that's really good. Okay, Pisces, this is what I have for you. If any of this resonates, smash that like button. If not, that's cool another time. With that being said, you have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night. And I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.